Hi, it's Mayim. I'm gonna be responding to a question posed by one of our Rock Nation fans. What would you tell your younger self if you could tell your younger self anything? One, enjoy your body. As you get older, your body starts doing lots of things, things that you didn't anticipate it would do. Things will hurt and they'll ache and you'll ask doctors about it and they'll be like, I don't know what that is, like tough for you. The body is so amazing and in its youth, it's at its most amazing. So like run, jump, take care of your body, like eat well so that you keep your body strong and happy. Two, I wish I could go back and tell my younger self to pay really close attention to parents and to grandparents and to older people, see how they act, see how they do things, because it becomes increasingly important in ways that my younger self would never have understood if I said it, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it now. Three, I think that a lot of people think that the thing you're supposed to tell your younger self is, don't worry about all the things that bother you because they won't matter when you get older. All that stuff does matter. It all becomes part of who you are. Every time you get hurt and every time you love something and every time you hold a kitten for the first time, all of that stuff becomes part of your collective experience and it all matters. Nothing is unimportant. And that doesn't mean you should place all this crazy emphasis on it and feel like every moment needs to be sacred and fantastic, but every single thing that happens makes up the entirety of who you are. And I wish I had known that because a lot of times my parents or my teachers or whoever was comforting me when I was crying would say, it's gonna be fine. In 10 years, no one will care about X, Y, or Z. But the fact is I did care in 10 years from when I was hurt or when fantastic things happen. It all becomes part of who you are. It all matters. Four, things get easier as you get older in important ways. Things also get harder as you get older, also in important ways. I would have wanted my younger self to know that there are people like me. I felt really different when I was a kid, and I'm sure a lot of you watching this also felt different. I felt really alone when I was a kid. I was a strange child, I was a strange teenager, and the fact is I'm a strange adult. And a lot of people told me, oh, you'll be more like other people when you get older, or oh, you'll learn to like what every other girl likes when you're you know, 15 or 16 or 20 or 25. And the fact is that never happened for me. I'm still different. And the comforting thing is that I've found more people like me who are different too. You don't necessarily become like other people if you're different. And you don't necessarily become more comfortable not being like other people in ways that would make your life easier. But you will find people who will be your comrades and your friends and your support system in ways that will make being different not so bad. I'd like to thank everybody who contributed ideas for things to hear how Mayam grocks, and I look forward to tackling all sorts of issues with you, um, serious ones, fun ones, but all with this sort of notion of how can we deeply understand things, how can we grok things together. So thank you for being aboard for this journey and for our video. Yay!